In League of Legends, many physical damage dealing champions will have to decide whether to buy a Bloodthirster or a Blade of the Ruined King. On today's episode of Law Math, we'll be taking a look at which item can be more cost effective and beneficial. Let's take a look at the items now. A Bloodthirster costs 3200 gold and will grant 70 attack damage and 12% lifesteal. It will also grant a stack whenever the champion kills a unit up to a maximum of 30 stacks, half of which are lost on death. Each stack will grant 1 attack damage and 0.2% lifesteal. Based purely on stats, one is saving 80 gold on a Bloodthirster with no stacks and saving 1520 gold on a Bloodthirster with full stacks. A Blade of the Ruined King costs 3200 gold and will grant 25 attack damage, 15% lifesteal, and 40% attack speed. It will also passively have a champion's attack steal bonus physical damage equal to the target's current health times 0.05. Finally, it has an effect which when activated will deal physical damage equal to the target's maximum health times 0.15 and heal the attacking champion for the same amount. It will also slow the target by 30% and grant a movement speed boost equal to the amount the champion was slowed by for 4 seconds. This effect has a 1 minute cooldown. Based purely on stats, one is overspending by 266.8 gold on a Blade of the Ruined King. However, if we consider the damage dealt from the Blade of the Ruined King's passive effect to be of equal value to attack damage, we can further calculate the cost effectiveness of the item. If a champion with the Blade of the Ruined King attacks a champion with 173.4 health or more, the item will become more cost effective than a Bloodthirster with no stacks. The champion must have 893.4 health or more for it to become more cost effective than a bloodthirster with full stacks. If we do the same for the Blade of the Ruined King's active effect against a champion with the lowest level 18 health, Sona. The Blade of the Ruined King will deal 9600 gold worth of physical damage. Against the highest level 18 health champion, Nunu, the Blade of the Ruined King will deal 14286 gold worth of physical damage. Keep in mind this does not even take movement speed gained or health restored into account. Overall, even when the Blade of the Ruined King's active effect is on cooldown, it can easily become more cost effective than a Bloodthirster. It will also be incredibly cost effective when the active effect is available. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it, and subscribe if you'd like to be informed whenever I release new videos. Click the annotation on the screen if you'd like to see the previous Law Math episode. You can also like Law Math on Facebook. Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and join the community on Reddit. Thanks for watching this episode of Lawmath.